don't know. I guess I restarted. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so this is, uh... This is what I've been working on the past week with, uh... With my friends. Here's Van. Van did a lot of the programming for the game. And our other friend, Jose. I don't know if he'll stop in. But he also worked on it. We made this in about a week. It was a lot of work and no sleeping. So hi, Van. <laughs> I showed some. <laughs> Some people saw my game and they said, this looks like you. I was like, uh, it's all coincidence. The crazy thing is, uh, I almost quit my job today. Like, I came very dangerously close to quitting today. Because they tried to get me to do something that I really didn't agree with. And I flat out said, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> the sprite name is... You know, I kept seeing that pop up every time Jose, like, posted the sprites on the art channel. And I was like, this feels like chronological order, like, different. I'm just, like, letting it settle because it's, it's different seeing it on the screen, like, the actual screen. Because I've mostly been seeing this, like, in the video editing, but seeing it, like, as a game. Like, I'm actually happy that the press play in the left corner moved, because I thought it was going to be static. Because when, when I added that graphic, I thought it was a static one. I didn't know it actually moved. The little triangle thing in the corner. I didn't know that moved. So I think I just got lucky on that. Okay, so let's see. Let's start the game. Is the is the volume okay? Go ahead and start this audio here. Oops. Okay, so if I click out, it stops. Got it. Yeah, so apparently it moves very slowly, but then it starts moving towards the end of the animation. So that's still cool, though. So let's start the game. I had the phone sitting in the cup holder when I recorded this. They're just sitting in the cup holder. This is from his Grammy speech after he won for Purple Rain. Let's see, movement, run, interact, mouse. Okay, yeah, I think the first time I played it, I forgot there was a run button. So let's go ahead, start. Oh, enter. Yeah, I set it diagonally on the cup holder and it just, angled correctly. I got lucky, because if it went wrong, it could have just fell, and then that would have been it. Yeah, the first time I played it, I forgot you could run. And then when I found out, oh, I can run, I was like, okay, this this makes sense now. Let's see. I've had enough. Three days, and I'm done with this place. I like the little entrance here. And the bulletin board. I wonder if Unity lets you toggle. Okay. Look, he's moonwalking in place. His knees are double jointed. The elevator opened. I really, actually, I really like this animation. How you guys were able to make it shake. I can't. 
can't believe they called us back into the office. Everything was going just fine working from home, but no, we, we can't have that. We can't have nice things. Can't set up teleworking. You gotta work from home. Stuck in an ad. <laughs> okay. We got an ad for our game. Wow. A little camera. In game ad. As long as I can get through the next few days, I'm sure things will get better. That doesn't that sound familiar. It's like, I just gotta get through this week. I just gotta get through this week. You just keep saying that over and over to yourself. But it's like the same thing. I mean, really, what can be worse than working at a dump like this? Working at two dumps. Ooh. Let's see. Man, I'm tired. I stayed up all night playing this game called Empty Canvases. I didn't want to go to bed till I beat it, but it was so hard, so I didn't sleep at all. <laughs> it's, a, it's a throwback to our first game, which is also playable. It keeps going on about how hard that game is. I don't know, man. Or even just better at platforming. But I didn't think it was that bad. Van currently holds the world record for speedrunning our game. It took me, I think it took me like two, two hours to beat our game at least. <laughs> I'm the robot. <laughs> is Jose in this game too? Look at that, fax machine. Play of the month. Look, look at it. look at the face. It's like, uh, 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 and then boom. Like if that's the same dude, he like completely lost his hair. You didn't time your run in this game. What's what's like your estimate? Not good. Not good. Oh, hey. Can you do me a huge favor? I left my notes in the office. Can you get them for me? No. I'd do it myself since my office is just down the hall, but I left my keys somewhere. And I don't remember where. <laughs> I need to set up the presentation for the meeting. So, I don't have time to look for things. Five minutes or so. That's still, that's still fast. I think it took me... It took me like 20 minutes to get to uh, the part with the monster after the printer because I got confused about like what the couch does I had to send to set up a presentation today too well I wasn't there but damn I was really banking on getting that promotion I need a smoke is that Jose? I like the stairs. The sta I like the stairs drawing. It's so detailed. Let's run in the hallway. I would say yes, but he got his promotion. True. He picked up the key. Run. Nyong. Jose made some sprites that were very disproportionately detailed. <laughs> like the laptop. The laptop has like the highest definition graphics in this whole game. Have you found my notes yet? I found the key. Isn't that enough? <laughs> I 
There's a meeting starting soon. Okay. Locked. Stairs. I think there's another door. I think it's this way. Aha, there's his notes. Look at it. You found the meeting notes. Imagine getting locked out of your own office. At one time at work, uh, one of the doors got locked because they left the keys inside on the other side of the door. And I think I shocked them how quick I was to get like a screwdriver and uh, the hell do you call those things? Not an ice pick, but I got this one thing with the hammer, right? And I was able to take the door off <laughs> the hinges. <laughs> and they're like, John, have you done this before? And I was like, no comment. Oh, good, you found them. I was getting worried. All right, the meeting's about to start. Let's get in there. Meetings always seem to drag on forever. They do. Like, a lot of times, you'll have meetings, and they're not even a meeting. They're just you getting talked to about stuff that has nothing to do with you. Let's see. Let's go back to... Computer. The computer's so slow. You would think they dedicate at least a little bit of the budget to make it so we didn't have to wait 15 minutes just to open our email. Oh well. Just two more days till it's not my problem anymore. Time to head home. Eight hours seems like such a long time. At least until you get home. This is true. I got off work at five. It's almost nine o'clock. It doesn't even feel like four hours passed. It feels like an hour. Everybody went home. Like, I want to say during the game jam was the longest that the days felt for me in a while. You're trying to leave the building now? Wait, what? Didn't I? I swear I just went downstairs. Oh no, the music, it's happening. The game jam felt both really long and super short all at once. It did, it, it did really. Like there were some days that felt super long and then there's some days where it's like, how is it midnight already? How is it 2 a.m.? Employee of the month. Oh shit. Oh! I can outrun him. I'm an athlete. Our character is an athlete. <laughs> the last day, hours felt like minutes. It did. Especially, like, after midnight, it's like time just kept speeding up. Hey, you doing alright? You've been running all around all crazy, like. What are you even still doing here? Everyone else left by now. You might want to just crash on the couch for the night. You don't seem to be in a state to drive. I've done that before. Where I stayed at work longer because I couldn't drive home. Dude, those bags under your eyes could hold an entire cart of groceries. <laughs> this place drives me crazy sometimes. But you work to live, not live to work. So hell if I'm gonna let this place kill me. You take care of yourself too. I got bored often, so I sneak paper from the fax room to make origami. You look really tired today. Did you try out that game I was telling you about? Yeah. Ah, there you are. I need these documents faxed to the regional office once you get the chance. 
Let me know once you have them sent. Thanks. So we got a fax papers. Fax machine. I really like the animation for the fax machine. Like that really, that looks really good. Some people have to hear dial up sound a lot. Jose said he wished it was better, but I love it. <laughs> like, the, o the only thing I could have even added to this was hitting the fax machine with a baseball bat. Or, like, do you remember those, those CDs that you used to be able to get at the store for, like, free internet? Like, they give you, like, 30 hours of free internet. Like, if the fax machine shot out those CDs at you. It cost us lots of time and money. Like, playing this now, again, I definitely can see how this would be even more terrifying in, like, 3D. Especially, like, if you had first-person mode. Going to boss's office, even when this world's messed up. Okay, so we timed it out. No new emails. I should see if anyone needs anything. Yo, just a heads up. It was a pretty serious accident a few minutes ago. And traffic's already crashing on the couch for the night. Otherwise, you might just get home in time to turn back. I've had that happen a few times where the traffic was so bad I just stayed at work. Because I know, like, I would have been stuck on the road for like an hour or two. some commotion in the other room. Did you have to fight with the fax machine? I understand. We've all been there. Don't think much of it. His dialogue. Well, the good thing is that, like, even with it cut, it still makes sense what he's trying to say. Also, I like the fact that there's no hands on the clock. There's a note on my computer. Come to my office as soon as you see this. Boss. Great, just what I want to see. It's not boss from Metal Gear Solid, it's just regular boss. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the boss is an enemy. Life wish it's for life. <laughs> life wish. The boss room doesn't change in nightmare mode because it's already a nightmare.
Josh, I gotta tell you a story later. There's something that happened today. Gear here. Good. I need you to tell Bill from the finance to tell the rep from Max Corp that we are willing to proceed with partnership regulations if they can agree to give us a 5% hold, no less. Bob's probably in the break room, but he wanders too much for me. <laughs> to track him down. Wait, okay, the, the boss who's sitting here at the desk, is he the same guy who lost the, the papers? Or the key? Is he the same guy? I also changed the guy's name, but I didn't change both names. Oh. He, he's very lazy. He, lo he loses his keys. He can't bother to, to track people down or even send emails. I get bored often. Hey, what's up? The boss wants 5%. The rip made it pretty clear that their offer stood at 3.5%. I swear the boss is gonna <laughs> lose his contract by being too pushy. Also, why did he make you, me... Blah. Why did he make you tell me this? It's like he forgets emails exist. Sorry you had to go through the trouble, but at least it's just about quitting time. It adds to the boss's incompetence that he can't remember the employee's names. Yeah. I definitely got that feeling. It's like, who are you again? It's like, bro, I've worked here like eight years. Oh no. The monster is coming. Oh my god! No! Leave me alone! No! I died! <laughs> I was like, no! You doing alright? Oh no! Killed us. Again. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I hit the sticky keys. Whoops. One guy had to fight it six times. <laughs> His name was keyboard. I don't want to do that. Things like this monster just for the break room. <laughs> I gotta fight this fax machine. Kill me. We killed it. Fax is sent. Yeah, let's run. <laughs> I heard commotion in the other room. Did you have a fight with the fax machine? Hell yeah. I understand. We've all been there. Don't think too much of it. Let's go check my emails. Checking my emails. The clock has no hands, so you're trapped here forever. There's a note on my computer. Come to my office as soon as you see this. Great, just what I wanted to see. I never liked those emails. It's like, just tell me what you want. You're here, good. You gotta tell Bill from Finance to tell the rep from Mass Corp. FX Lucy makes a fax machine like that. Our fax machine. Our fax machine is garbage. Because, like, it it's not supposed to be a fax machine. It's supposed to be a telephone, but they attach the fax machine to the phone line. So it rings like a telephone half the time. Instead of, like, faxing like it's supposed to. 5%. Hold, let's get this. Let's get this 5%. Oh, Lord. die here. <laughs> I waited too long. 
This is just like in real life. This is just like in real life. <laughs> You know how many times I have to help somebody fax? This is just like, this is just like work in real life. Even that sound. I feel fully immersed in this game today. Oh no, I'm, I'm doing the wrong button. button. We did it. The fax is sent. That'll be two dollars. She doesn't want to pay me for my work. She said I'm not full time. I like the little cracks in the wall. I like the holes punched. No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> this is starting to feel real. You know, you know you know you fucked up? You're like the monster was like a customer that was like trying to keep you from going home or some shit. Or like the boss chasing you with more work. How many times is this my third fight with the fax machine? I think this is like fight three. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It's four. We got this, we got this. Let's do- yeah. Wait, why is he alive still? He's still alive! Oh no! Oh no, it's not safe. It's not safe. Stop now? I think it stopped. I think it stopped now. No, no, it's still going. It's still going. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you for the subscription. It's still alive. I think it's still alive. Like, let's, let's go check. Let's see. Is it still alive? I think it is. Oh, he's still alive. Look at that. Zombie fax machine. Go kick it again. It's alive. Whoa. Okay. Let's see. Fax sent. Fax sent. It's an immortal, immortal fax machine. The fax machine is immortal. Got a call. Um. Got to call the, uh, the, the 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 fax company. Immortal fax machine. Hey, what's up? Five percent. Three point five. Let's do this. Usually, you call five to fix these things. I do. I fix things. <sighs> Th 
they... They broke so much stuff today. Like... I, um... I kind of just sat there like, oh god. What is happening? Fix it all. I, I wanted to write that on my resume. Cause, cause, like, really, when you when they go on jobs and descriptions and stuff, and they say you know duties as a scientist, it's basically saying like you do everything at that point. But I did say no today. I said no today to something because it didn't sit right in my conscience. Cause they said that's how I kick. That makes me look like my knees are, like, lost forever. Let's see, what, what do we do now? What do we do now? Because we, we talked to the boss. Um, what do we do now? of the month. You know, there was a time I would get this, like, maybe twice a year. Have you beaten your own game yet? I think... I beat it once. I've beaten it one time. I like the way the, the chairs look here. It's all, like, paper crumpled. Trying to time out the monster. <laughs> oh shit! That scared the hell out. That scared me. That fucking scared me. It spawned like right at the end. I was like, I can time this out. I can time it. It. it that could have killed me. That sh that should have killed me. I don't know. <laughs> Added chairs to this room. There aren't any normal mode. <laughs> My back hurts. Sleeping on this thing two days in a row is not pleasant. At least this is my last day, so I won't ever have to see this stupid thing again. I used to sleep on the couch before. Because I used to have to go to work early. Because the traffic. Like, there was a time where I had to go to work like two hours earlier than I was supposed to be there. This transition doesn't work right, and I'm so sad about it. What transition uh, was supposed to be here? I suppose I should remind the boss of me leaving. I don't trust him to remember. It's supposed to fade to black. It's too jarring. Oh, got it. Let's see. Boss's office, I think, is this one? So today is your last day, huh? Well, suppose that's that then. You weren't the best employee. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you weren't the best employee. But you weren't the worst. <laughs> so if you change your mind before we find a replacement, I would reinstate your position. Anyway, I probably shouldn't give you any new projects. So feel free to say goodbye to people and just clear out your email and collect your things before you go. Gotta go get my, uh, my discount. Finally told this place to stuff it, huh? Man, ain't that the dream. Well, I'm scared. Oh, you're leaving? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. You were always reliable, but I understand. That's why I got kicked out of Smurla. It is. And then we put your name on the wall. I should quit too and try to make a career streaming games. Granted, I'm not very good. I feel that. But there are people who like watching me beat people be bad, right? Totally. I'm terrible at games. I can just lie and say it's Joy-Con Drift. 
Okay, let's go get my stuff. I think it's in this office. I think. Hey, look, it's me. This is like Inception. I'm in the game. It's even more, more so than EA Sports. It's in the game, except I'm in the game. Holy shit! What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god! This is how it feels to work. <laughs> this, this is what my life feels like. <laughs> Run away! My instinct is to run. <laughs> Holy shit! No! 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 Leave me alone! <laughs> Whoa, I lost so much health. Is this the exit now? I think. If you messed up, you could go back. <laughs> that shit like fucking chased me. <laughs> I was like, no, don't kill me. <laughs> oh, I think this is the end. Yo, I like how this pans out. Like the zoom cameras. Damn. That was like a movie. Thank you, Van, for programming this game. The VHS effect came out so good. Ten out of ten. Thank you. This is how I see work. This is why I don't wear glasses. You're welcome. It was actually really fun. Like, I learned a lot of new music and video stuff doing this. Like, this is my first, I think, real attempt at doing, like, VHS filter and stuff. Yeah, and the, one of the cool easter eggs in this game is that uh, the first part takes place on the 22nd, and it ends on the 25th. So it's three days, exactly. And the first day starts on 2.20pm of 2.22.22. This is how you see- yeah, this is how I see work sometimes. Because- since everything is all messed up and people lie so much. I'm so glad I saved this song. Like, I see what, what Jose meant, that this was better for the ending. Because the piano. Yeah, that was like that was like once in a lifetime you get to shoot something at the exact timing. And that's the aim <laughs> the aim of the game. <laughs> that is the aim of the game. Somebody told us on uh on the reviews, Van, what did you say? Somebody said this game is really good, but it's also very depressing. LOL. <laughs> what is that what they told us? <laughs> like <laughs> they liked the game but they said it was depressing. <laughs> The sequel, Offer Letter. Oh, shoot. If we did a sequel. Yeah, they said before they even played it, it felt so relatable. Then they beat it, and they said they were depressed. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like for a lot of people who participated in the game jam, they probably are like in a similar situation. Since I, I imagine a good number of them are also office workers, you know, or people who work on the computer. <laughs> They're probably like, oh shit, this is me. <laughs> like, this is <laughs> the sequel. I, I was thinking of making a game still. Well, 
Yeah, I, mean, I have like two games I'm working on. One is still like a demo. It's not even like complete. The other one is still just a concept. I think I, I told you about it, Van. The the letters game or something. Basically like jump to conclusions and all that. So it's mostly just going to be like a writing game, I think, for mobile. I do like how when you beat the game, it goes to just a blank screen because it leaves you like time to think and you go like, damn. It was good though. I definitely think, like if it was in 3D, it would be like in, I think it would be even more terrifying. Just because, like, the visuals that you could mess with in VR and all that. You should send me a more fleshed out document listing what you want in the game. Yeah. And try to make a framework for it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Probably this week. Because I did, I checked out some books for, like, coding and programming because I did want to practice some. So at least, at least I have a better understanding of how you guys do this stuff. Because I feel like I did, I did go off to like learn Godot, but since it's programming is within the software itself, it's different. Because it's not, it's not C sharp. Like there is a C sharp version, but it's not C sharp though. It's like its own kind of language. But I think, I think with the game though, uh, we definitely achieved what we were aiming for, for the mo pretty much. Because like you said, people are like, yeah, this game is good, but it's like depressing. And then uh, we had that talk where like, why, why are all our games sad? All we make are sad games. We're like, okay, we'll make, we'll make one happy game. Uh, there will be one happy game. I'm hoping that like people who um who play this game and they like actually talk to the people, the NPCs, like if they see the empty canvas reference, I hope they see that and try it. Cause that game was also cool. That that was a cool game. Like I saw on the um on the YouTube channel we got like way more views than usual. Like, we finally hit over 100 for the channel. Like, I know some people will be like, oh, it's only 100. But, like, to me, 100 is a big difference because we haven't been super active and there hasn't been, like, much promotion. So, like, 100 plus views, that's, like, that's, like, a big room of people, like, watching your stuff, basically. It's, like, a big meeting room full of people. Yeah, so I'm gonna upload um the game plate that you sent. I'm gonna upload that tonight. So that way it's on the channel. And then I'm gonna post the game again on uh on the Discord and on the other social media stuff. Do 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 but Yeah. Thanks to Van and then Thanks to Jose for working on the game. There was a lot of days where I don't think any of us slept. Like, like it made me realize the next time if we do a game jam like this, we probably shouldn't go to work Monday. Because when I was at work yesterday, I couldn't take anything seriously. Like, I kept disassociating. I think at one point, I thought I was in a game, and I'd like... <laughs> The footage I sent is entirely unedited, though, so I wasn't sure what she wanted to do with it. Okay. I'm a, I'll go ahead and rewatch it, because cause there's a good chance I can probably even just use the whole thing. Since it's a, just a regular playthrough, it could be like, yeah, look, this is... This is playthrough footage of our game, so people know. I was so lucky I didn't do anything at work yesterday. Yeah, when I when I came back, there was like a mountain of work to do, and even more so today. It was it was weird because 
usually we're not that busy but I guess apparently there was stuff to be done I was like oh, okay fine sure whatever you say all right we're gonna switch to to another game let me find the button 